Starting today, I'm opening my new fall collections. Hello, my darlings. I am C and this is CJ DIY. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful home decor for less than $25. So let's just jump into my DIYs. I'm going to be using this wooden box that I got right after Christmas on clearance from Michael's for $2.50 or $2.90. So I'm going to remove all the bolts and the hinges before I paint it out. Now that my box is reconstructed, I tried to use Whispering Wheat folk art paint, but it didn't cover all the writings on that box and i changed my mind and i'm using a full card from milk jug paint to cover it all and let it dry when it's all dry after that i'm applying the paint uh, same paint whispering with from full card going all over the box and then i'm just using a sponge brush and dabbing for a extra texture on my box so we can get that antique vintage look on it after that when it's all nice and dry i'm gonna add a beautiful clear wax to seal it and get a more beautiful texture on it i'm putting all those hinges and bolts back and now i'm using this vinyl full leather from dollar tree and i'm just gonna cut two stripes and i'm gonna put them on our trunk and we're gonna have a beautiful decorative piece for fall after I cut off two equal stripes from that fall leather, I'm going to glue them on the side of my trunk. Just like that. I'm just using a hot glue and super easy and super cute. Just like that. Now that one side is done, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side on the same spot, if that makes sense. For more embellishment, I'm adding these golden push pins from Dollar Tree on top of my leather lines. And our first DIY should be done and beautiful and ready for fall. I would like to know what do you think about this beautiful creation that I just made for less than $2.50. Today, I'm so happy that I'm a part of another 5 under 5 challenge that it's hosted by my darling friends every month on the 5th and 5 p.m. and we are creating beautiful decor. Hosted by my darling friend Emily from Farm Charm Chick and missy from crafty cove and this month the guest host is robin robin's buys and diys i will have their links in my description box 
along with the amazing playlist with so many talented creators, friends, and lots of inspiration. With that being said, we are going into my next DIY. I am using these two mirror frames that I purchased from my local store. They were like $2 each. And I'm just gonna flip the mirror on the other side and I'm gonna make something cute. So I'm just removing all that tape that it was behind it before I start working on them. Super simple. And I'm gonna use one of those tile stickers that we got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cover it all. Super easy and simple. I'm just loving using these decals. I have a video that I made beautiful creations with them. And, and we're gonna apply something on top of them. Now that my mirrors are covered on the other side, I'm gonna put them back to my frames super simple and easy we can always remake whatever we like to do with those frames and this is a perfect occasion for fall decor and i love these beautiful frames they're made out of metal and have that rustic look on it like a copper brown mix i love them i got those redesigned robin transfers and i'm gonna apply those two beautiful couple of horses with the wreath around and I'm gonna put one on one frame and another on the other frame. Super simple, but very beautiful fall decor. You gotta let me know what do you think when it's all done. Give me your thoughts. And if you're gonna remake some of those creations today. Just cutting it off, the ones that I wanna use. I was thinking, should I use those stars or just leave them simple? And I'm just going to leave them simple with these beautiful horses and the reeds around them. I just love horses. And this time I wanted to make something different farmhouse style, but different than the cows and the piggies and the chickens. And this time I went with the beautiful horse style, cowboy style, whatever you like to call it. <laughs> I'm applying the second rub-on on my second frame and look at how beautiful it looks. And that's it. For extra detail, I'm just gonna distress the edges of my frame just to bring that detail, beautiful detail on those metallic frame that they are. I just add the terracotta and I'm just applying a little bit distressing it. And that's it. For the next DIY, nothing without the horseshoe. Horseshoe, it's always for a good luck. And I'm using this foam from foam wreath from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut the bottom of it just to make it in a shape of a horseshoe. Just like that. Super simple and beautiful farmhouse decor. Just make sure the edges are nice and straight. Next, I'm gonna be applying a Spanish moss until it's all fully covered with a hot glue. Gotta be careful with that hot glue to not burn myself.
now that I have the whole wreath covered with the moss, I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to be using these beautiful full leather pumpkins and ivory pumpkins made out of yarns. Those are so beautiful. I was so happy that I found them. I'm giving some away with the calendars. If you haven't seen my previous video, you should check it out. You still have time to enter. And what I'll be doing now is I'm just adding two pumpkins on each side, just like that. I didn't want it to overwhelm my horseshoe, but I wanted to add some fall vibe on it, just like that. Super cute. Dollar Tree surprised me. They're bringing such a cute things lately. And I'm gonna be using some of these fall picks, also from Dollar Tree. Not too many, just the little details on it. Just poking wherever I can find a spot and adding one of those dry weeds and grasses, also from Dollar Tree. Now that I added all my picks on my shoe horse, I'm gonna make a beautiful bow with this beautiful burlap ribbon. I love this material. I think this is one of the best ribbons that Dollar Tree carry. And I'm just making a simple bow and I'm gonna put it on top of my wreath, just like that. I wanna see where I'm gonna position it and how big my bow will be before I tie it with a twine in the middle. Just a simple bow, super simple, anybody can do it. Just like that. On top, I'm gonna be adding a small bow from this beautiful plaid ribbon, also from Dollar Tree. Made the same way that I did the large bow. Now that my bows are ready, I glue them on top of my horseshoe and I'm thinking what kind of sign should I add? Should I add this beautiful copper welcome or a leather, faux leather word blast? And I decided with this faux leather word, I'm gonna glue it beside my bows and the pumpkins and our beautiful horseshoe wreath sign whatever you like to call it is ready and you gotta let me know what do you think for my next diy i'm using trash to treasure my daughter wanted to throw these boots away and i told her to give them to me i'm gonna make something i cleaned them well and now i'm gonna use them as a decorative piece i'm using two tone colors from folk art i'm using a wheat and a french linen i believe and I'm just distressing it with the brush and get a whole vintage rustic look on these beautiful boots. And it's gonna be perfect look for our fall decor. And that's it for this DIY. To decorate it, I will add some foam in the middle. First, I added two foam pieces inside of the boat boots, but then I changed my mind. I wanted to add some fall peaks. And then I just took out all the peaks from one boot and left that one empty. And I just decorate the other boot. 
And that's it, super simple and beautiful DIY. For the next DIY, I'm gonna be using this set of Canva from uh, Five Below. There were five for that pack. And I just removed the Canva. All I needed was the wooden frame since I didn't have anything from uh, Dollar Tree Canva. And I'm gonna be using these beautiful horses calendars. One is from 2023 Dollar Tree calendar and the other one is from Walmart 2022 that I got it on sale. And I'm gonna pick which of those beautiful horses I like the best. And I'm gonna make a beautiful two art wall decors. Just going through pages just to see what kind of beautiful horse pictures there is and i decide with those black horse it's so beautiful and then on the other set i'm gonna find another horse this one is from dollar tree so we're just going through pages just to see which one we're gonna use they're all so beautiful i really love horses so much i think they're the most beautiful And I found a match. So now we have a Mr. and Mrs. Beautiful couple, love couple. And we're gonna use those Canva, super simple, easy DIY. But I also noticed that those Canva frames, they were too big for my pages and I'm gonna cut them out with my cutter just to match the pages. I'm also gluing those pages on the paper that it came with a calendar just to have a hard background on my canva and we're gonna add them on the bottom of my canva frames now i'm cutting off the wooden frames just to match with my calendar pages i'm cutting them on a 45 angle super simple easy i love this cutter i got it from amazon and it's making a miracle with those wooden pieces just make sure that it, i'm angling on a 45 degree before i cut it off Now that I got the sizes that I like, I'm putting the frame together. I'm gonna glue the edges and also I'm gonna staple it on the back for extra sturdiness. And our frame is ready. I'm adding the pages of my horsey, just like that. I'm gonna staple it on the back and I'm gonna cut the extra pieces of it For extra embellishment, I'm adding a more fall leather vinyl on the edges of my frame to match my theme today. And we're gonna have a beautiful high-end art pieces for our fall decor. And also throughout the whole year, we can keep it in our home. For extra detail, I'm also adding those gold push pins on top of our leather frame. And we did the same thing on the second art frame too. And our DIY is complete. And you gotta let me know, what do you think? I really love how this beautiful couple look. And here is the final reveal from all those beautiful pieces that I made today. I had so much fun creating all these beautiful fall pieces and I really love all of them. You gotta let me know if I give you inspirations for you to recreate some of my pieces. And if you do, please send them to me on my Instagram. I am on Instagram page as well. 
so I can show it to everybody. And if you like to win some of those fall leather pumpkins and the 2023 calendars, I had a previous video that you can check. And before I let you go, Emily, Missy, and Robin, thank you so much for another amazing month. And don't forget to check out all those amazing ladies and the amazing playlists with lots of inspiration for our fall decor. And until next time, my darlings, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy from me to you. Bye-bye.